When my son was a little boy, there was a place in Independence, Missouri that we used to go to take him. It was filled with those plastic tubes that you crawl through. Well, he said one day, Daddy, follow me. And I followed him into this incredible place. It used to be a supermarket, now filled with tubes, mile-long tubes with lots of bends. And I got in there about halfway, and I'll tell you, have you ever felt like you're not as young as you used to be? Have you ever felt like your knees just can't continue? Have you ever felt like you're quite large and the tube is getting smaller and smaller? And it was. See, the little ones could get through, but I became the clog in the tube. And then there's a hundred children behind that are screaming to their parents through the tube, which you could look through and saying, Daddy, Mommy, there's this fat man in here that's blocking the tube. Well, you know, you, you do what you have to do, but you were locked into the situation. So often we feel locked into our situations too. We get ourselves into a place and then we wonder how in the world are we going to get out of this place? Part of the makeup of our personality has to do with what we reinforce mentally and emotionally. Now, if we have anxiety, we may only reinforce it if we get caught up in a vicious circle of negativism. It's like being locked in the tubes. We find that we go deeper and deeper and deeper, and we're the one driving ourselves in there. And uh, any other habitual thought or feeling begins to affect and even control our lives because we constantly reinforce that negativity. But the same works on the positive side. When you want to remove yourself from a situation, you begin to focus on the positive instead of the negative. Take some personality or character trait that you feel is creative and really good in you right now. How do you cause it to grow? Well, you begin to reinforce it. Reinforce it with thoughts and feelings and attitudes. See, the battle in life is won through reinforcement. When enough reinforcements are brought up, you can get through anything. You can build up those areas in your life that you want to build up. I had friends there in that tube zone that I was in, in Independence, Missouri, and they shouted affirmations at me, laughing, but shouting. And, uh, and I got through that tube. <laughs> it's still almost 20 years later, is a funny story. Well, I wish you to get through all of the narrow, confining conflicts of your life. When you need positive reinforcements, I pray that first you're going to give it to yourself, you're going to go to God second, and you're going to look to friends and family that talk positively to you and reinforce you in great ways. God bless you.